So I want to jump in right away with this uh, because it is simply fantastic. R- really, it's one of my favorite videos of all time. Th- this kind of brilliant comedy is what you might have gotten from a comedy show like SNL back when comedy was still legal. Now we have to settle for getting our comedy from real life. So um, so here is Western Australian premier Mark McGowan. He has uh, re- recorded a video where he's trying to communicate some basic things about uh, about COVID to the Aboriginal community in the area. And so he's decided to, to begin with, speak very, very slowly using, using small words so that they can understand him. But he's even hired an Aboriginal elder to translate for him in real time. And the results are truly extraordinary. Let's watch. Important message to keep Aboriginal people safe. And the young message a proper important one to keep everybody safe one. You can die from the corona or get really sick. You will like can pass away from this corona or you will like can get really sick one. It's time to get the corona needle to keep people and country strong. Dijan, it's time to get them this needle to keep them but all the people and country proper strong one. The Corona Needle will protect kids, old people, men and women. Well, the young Corona Needle gotta keep them a safe one for all the kids and for all the men and women. Okay. Many people around the world um, sorry, uh, I didn't understand any of that. I need it translated into American English. We need a third translator there. Actually, I, I did understand it. In fact, I, um, I guess the big news here is I learned just now that I speak Aboriginal Australian. So I'm, I am bilingual. That's, a, that's good news. Why not just have her, if you're going to do this, um, which you shouldn't in the first place, but why not just have her alone g- giving this address? If you really feel that it's necessary, like, why do you need to be in the video too? You can tell that she's actually having trouble saying it differently. So that's, that's where she's struggling as a translator. Usually I guess the challenge is to, you know, translate it correctly. But, um, in this case, she's like looking at the words and she's trying to think, how am I supposed to say it differently from what you already just said? So she just puts the word one after everything she says. Um, but so if you're going to do it, just have her alone. Better yet, uh, don't do it at all, because this is this is truly racist by definition. And and I I hate to uh, to engage in the whole uh, the the left are the real racists thing, but but actually they are right. I mean it's true. It's true because the definition of racism is um, and it does have an actual definition. It's got nothing to do with what we hear, the critical race theory proponents. It's power plus privilege and all that. It's got nothing to do with any of that. Racism is actually a very simple thing. Racism is um, the belief that a certain race of people are inferior to you because of their race. So it's not even a belief that an individual person of another race is inferior to you. That could be a rude thing to think or say. Um, but it's the belief that an entire race, because of their race, are inferior to yourself. That's racism. Like anything outside, there are a lot of other things that you can think and things you can say that are rude and not nice, but aren't racist. That's what racism is. And so we see how, in, in fact, really, the left actually are the real racist because this is how they feel. This guy, what's this guy's name again? Mark McGowan. He, he looks at the Aboriginal people as clearly like children. And so rather than speaking to them like adults and saying what he would say to everybody else, is to slow down. I mean, they speak English. That's the point here. But he's got to slow down, use very small words, and then have someone next to him translating it into sort of colloquial vernacular. That is, you, you believe that they're inferior to you. And this is what we always get from the left. Um, 
from these white knight, white leftists. They think that um, that other races, they, they take this paternalistic pose and they treat other races as though they're all a bunch of children. Whereas the, the non-racist point of view is to say is to just hold everyone to the same standard. Have the same expectations for everybody. I don't care what race you are. I mean, if we all speak English, you should be able to understand English. Even if it's not in the in, in your we all have our own colloquial kind of way of speaking, but you should be able to understand an English that isn't that isn't uh, couched in your own colloquial language or vernacular. That's the expectation I have for everybody. That's why I'm against affirmative action. Say, hold up, have the same expectation for everybody. Hold everyone to the same standard. I don't care what race you are. Here's the standard. Here's what we're looking for based on the merits. And whatever race you are, there's no reason why you can't um, live up to that standard. There's no reason why you can't get over that bar. And if you can't, then uh, you don't deserve to get hired for the position or to go to that school or whatever it is. So this is, if you're a white leftist, I mean, it's, it's really a, a you know, for, for not, members of the other race, uh, you, you take a paternalistic view, they're inferior to you. And then members of your own race, you hate them also. So it's just, it's just racism and hatred and resentment sprayed in all directions towards everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed that clip from The Matt Wall Show. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there so you can stay up to date on all of our future content.